We have two species of chorus frogs here that is a delight to see. We have the Pacific chorus frog, and then we have the California chorus frog. Their scientific name is Pseudacris for both of them, which means that they sound like crickets. And as you've heard their calls here, which is a mix of both of them taken at night, they sound like they could be crickets or locusts or some kind of insect. The scientific name for the Pacific chorus frog is Pseudacris regilla. Regilla was a queen in Greek mythology. She was beautiful. And this is a beautiful little frog. California chorus frog, Pseudacris cadaverina, has a different name because it looks like a cadaver. Yes, because it's got blotches of color, purples and blacks and browns all mixed together. But the beautiful regilla comes in many colors. It has a skin that has four layers in it that can change its colors from a dark brown to a light brown to a green to a gray. It has a great stripe on its face, very symmetrical, smooth skin. Both frogs have wonderful legs for swimming, and jumping, and getting around. Both of the frogs have creamy undersides, which is designed to keep them from being seen by predators in the water, like fish and turtles. Now, they're both small frogs, an inch and a half on the average in length. These frogs become very, very active in the evening. That's when they do their mating, when they do their singing, when they do their hunting. Uh, we were lucky to see the frogs here coming out early just before uh, sunset. The regilla males go into the water and do their call and ask the ladies to come in the water. Now they mate uh, by coupling and the female later goes out and lays her eggs either in the pond or she'll go up and get on leaves and twigs, branches around the pond. So she'll put them in a place where it'll be damp, but shaded, and not necessarily in the water. Now the cadaverina males, they'll sit on the shore and, and make their call. The females will jump in the water. The males will jump in the water. And the female will deposit her eggs in the pond. And the male, as she's depositing the eggs, will fertilize them. The eggs stay in the pond, protected from ultraviolet rays. These frogs, uh, like all frogs, start out as eggs, then become tadpoles, which are fish-like, long tails. Both species eat phytophyton, which is a mixture of uh, microscopic animal and plant materials and pollens. Then three to six weeks, they lose their tail, they put on four legs, and they change their diet from and microscopic stuff to eating insects, meat. Gene, my wife, keeps throwing this one cadaverinas in the water so we can see how they swim. Want to go back and drink? Okay. Well, that was good. <laughs> Look at that coordinated swimming. Isn't that wonderful? By coloration, you can see that the regilla is very much designed and fit in a lot of habitats and used its four-layered skin to adapt and become hard to see, while cadaverina should actually be called the granite chorus frog because it is designed to pretty much stay in granite outcrops. The two chorus frogs of Southern California, Pseudacris cadaverina, Pseudacris regilla.